In 1913, the Coca-Cola Company sent a directive to all its bottlers. The Great Bottle Sweepstakes invitation was sent to more than 30 glass manufacturers across the United States. The goal of the sweepstakes was to design a bottle that would identify its contents as uniquely and unmistakably Coca-Cola. The design that gained approval would be used as an exclusive container of the beverage to be uniformly adopted by all the company's bottlers. The competing glass manufacturers were given two main requirements. First, that the design be distinctive, and second, that it would work easily with the equipment currently used by all Coca-Cola bottlers. Benjamin Thomas, one of the six parent bottlers, suggested that the bottle be recognizable when felt in the dark, or even when broken. Chapman J. Root was about to embark on a challenging year for himself and Root Blast Company's 850 employees. Every year, and this was no exception, Indiana's stifling summer heat and 3,000 degree furnaces necessitated a summer break for employees. This year, while Chapman J. Root's factory was being rebuilt, he called together his management team to give them some exciting news. Design the perfect bottle for Coca-Cola. Alexander Samuelson, his Swedish-born plant superintendent, T. Clyde Edwards, company auditor, Roy Hurt, secretary, Earl R. Dean, mold shop superintendent and mold designer, John Hodson, salesman, and Mr. Root's son, William Ruffle Root, were all assembled to take up the challenge. With the possibility that one of the ingredients in Coca-Cola might suggest an idea for a bottle design, C.J. Root sent Dean and Edwards in a chauffeured, peerless limousine to the Imline Fairbanks Memorial Library. Edwards, a former school teacher, was certainly comfortable in referencing material, and Dean would surely know what design could be incorporated into a bottle. Leafing through the Encyclopedia Britannica, page 628 reveals, Cocoa, more properly pronounced cacao, is a valuable dietary substance yielded by the seeds of several small trees belonging to the genus Theobroma family. The generic name is derived from words meaning God and food and was bestowed by Linnaeus as an indication of the high appreciation in which he held the beverage prepared from the seeds which he considered to be a food fit for the gods. When ripe, the fruit or pod is an elliptical ovioid shape from 7 to 10 inches in length and from 3 to 4 and a half inches in diameter. It has very distinct longitudinal ribs or elevations. Dean and Edwards are particularly impressed by the words fit for the gods and combined with the line drawing of a cocoa tree branch bearing pods, Earl R. Dean feels he has found his inspiration. Samuelson and his team discussed and analyzed the idea. A sketch design was made by Earl Dean and he turned out the molds under great pressure, only producing a limited run of bottles. A shape that was narrow at the top, beautifully bulging at the middle and tapered at the bottom, and the very first contour Coca-Cola bottle was born. Chapman J. Root and the Root Glass Company were delighted that the distinctive design met the Coca-Cola Company's initial requirements. Earl Dean later wrote in a memo, If you could please C.J. Root, you were just as much pleased as he was by the fact that you pleased him.
But the second vital stipulation became a major concern when the team discovered that the container's large middle bulge would not operate with existing bottling, filling, or washing equipment and did not fit the wooden delivery crates. Convinced that the design was distinctive enough to pursue, they continued to refine it, and so on November 16, 1915, a government patent was issued under the name of Plant Superintendent Alexander Samuelson. Several bottlers in Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee, in secrecy, tested the root glass bottle on their equipment. As it met all the design criteria, it was submitted to a committee of seven bottlers at the 1916 Coca-Cola Bottlers Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. The judges evaluated contest entries from several different glass manufacturers for originality, exclusiveness of design, ease of handling, production cost, and potential consumer recognition. Root Glass Company's design was chosen as Coca-Cola's new standard package. The Coca-Cola Company officially called it the Contour. Consumers began referring to it as the hobble skirt after the dress fashion of the era, the Mae West after a popular movie star, and to others, it was the hourglass. Production of the new six and a half ounce contour began in early 1916, manufactured at first exclusively by Root Glass Company. By 1918, straight-sided bottles were exhausted and the contour bottle was almost universally used. <laughs>